G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a sequence question for high schoolers. It goes as follows. In the sequence 2001, 2002, 2003, and so on, each term after the third is found by subtracting the previous term from the sum of the two terms that precede that term. Hang on, hang on, that, that was a lot. Um, for example, the fourth term of the sequence is 2001 plus 2002 minus 2003 equals 2000. OK, lost. So hang on. hang on. We've got a sequence, 2001, 2002, 2003. Each term after the third is found by subtracting the previous term. All right, so I want to find this one. Subtract the previous term from the sum of the two terms that precede that. And they're saying that would be 2001 plus 2002 take away 2003 is 2000. OK, so what I do is I take two terms, add them, subtract the third one, get the answer. Two terms, subtract them, take the third one, get the answer. That's how the sequence generated. Got it. Uh, what's the question? What is the 2004th term of the sequence? Oh, golly. All right, OK. Um, all right, so now I know how to make the sequence. Um, I want the 2004th term. There's the first, there's the second, there's the third, there's the fourth. What's the next one going to be? Well, it's going to be 2002 plus 2003 uh, minus 2000. That's going to be 2005. Uh, then it's going to be. Uh, 3 and a 0 minus a 5. So basically, I've got lots of 2,000. 2,000 plus 2,000, take away 2,000. I'm in the 2,000 still. 3 plus 0, take away 5. Actually, can that be weird? Can I just write 2,000 and negative 2? I know that's 1998. But 3 and 0 makes plus 3, take away 5 means negative 2. I'm just 2 under 2,000. Uh, next one's going to be uh, 0 plus 5, that's 7. Take away negative 2, that means I'm now at 2,007. OK, well, I'm just. Uh, just following my, uh, my gut here, just uh, playing with it, get a feel for it. Let me do another one. Uh, where am I? 5 plus negative 2, that's 3. Take away 7, uh, that's negative 4. 2,000 and negative 4. 1996, really. OK, OK, I'm staring at this. I'm seeing something. Look at this. 2001, 2003, 2005, 2007. Those odd terms seem to be going up by 2 each time. 2002, 2000, 2000, negative 2, 2000, negative 4. They seem to be going down to, as I keep going along, all those even terms. If that pattern's true, if I want to engage in wishful thinking, which is strategy number three, just engage in this, believe this, I bet I could get an answer for the 2015th term. There's a pattern going on. I bet I can use that pattern to my advantage. Of course, I'm going to wonder, is the pattern actually true? That's, like, that's good, deeper thinking. But if I'm just in a hurry and want to get an answer that's probably likely to be right, let's do it. Let's get, use the pattern to our advantage. And then the mathematician in me says, OK, is this pattern really true, or is this just coincidence? That's a good, deep question as well to explore. In fact, let's explore both. So why don't you have a go at this, work out what the 2015th term has to be, if this pattern's true, and then try to explain, is the pattern actually indeed valid? That sounds like good thinking work there. And let's compare results. Have a look at the essay that goes with this video and you know, see what I did and see if you did the same thing too. Kind of cool. All right, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.